A Cornell engineering student is facing federal charges accused of promoting the murder of Jewish students at the Ivy League University. Our team coverage continues with CBS News' Jessica Moore. She's live in the newsroom with the latest. Jessica. Well, Mary, police say Patrick Dye made graphic threats against Jewish students online and urged other students at Cornell to kill, kill them. It's all part of what officials say is a growing threat to Jewish students in the wake of the war between Israel and Hamas. I really don't think and I don't believe that somebody at Cornell would make such evil and vile and disgusting threats. But federal investigators say that's exactly what happened when 21-year-old Cornell Jr. Patrick Dye posted graphic threats online against Jewish students. It does not feel like we're living in 2023. It feels like we're living in Nazi Germany. Federal authorities arrested Dai on Tuesday after the FBI's Joint Terrorism Task Force, state police, and local authorities joined forces to find the person responsible for making the heinous threats. Overnight, Cornell University released a statement condemning the horrific threats and expressing gratitude to the FBI for working so swiftly. I can't imagine what would go through the mind of someone like that. Just first of all, you're making threats on like this, like this random website. Like, why would you do that? And I, I think it's like really ridiculous. And I'm, I'm glad that the person was taken into custody. According to the Anti Defamation League, since Hamas attacked Israel on October 7th, there has been a nearly 400% increase in anti Semitic incidents in the U.S. The FBI says Jewish and Muslim Americans are being targeted. We've already seen that with the individual we arrested last week in Houston who'd been studying how to build bombs and posted online about his support for killing Jews. And with the tragic killing of a six-year-old Muslim boy in Illinois and what we're investigating as a federal hate crime. Dai is scheduled in court at 2.30 this afternoon in Syracuse where he will appear before a magistrate judge. If convicted, he faces five years in prison and a fine of up to $25,000. Live in the newsroom, Jessica Moore, CBS2 News. Jessica, thank you. And stay with CBS2 for the very latest on the war. You can find updates anytime on our website, cbsnewyork.com.